Welcome back. We're talking about pages in the inspector and the palettes within the inspector. Next, we're going to talk about the metrics inspector. And metrics it has to do with the size and positioning of objects on your page. So again, from the previous tutorial, we have our D here that we've created a reflection and a shadow with. And we're going to go ahead and, and adjust this file info in both the uh, size, positioning, and rotation. In this case, we can uh, adjust the size by bringing the width up and you can see it's stretching my image across the page and I can bring that that width back down and I can constrain comportions which means if I change let's say the height the entire image changes both height and width so it keeps the original look of the image and then again I can make it smaller um, and of course I can bring it up and make it very big and let's see sometimes you have the option when you clicked here it will bring it back to its original size positioning on the page it has to do with if i move this around you'll see these numbers jumping around um, and that's the position on the x and the y axis so if you want to move it a fraction of an inch let's say one hundredth of an inch you can select here just change that seven to an eighth hit enter and you can see it barely moved at all but it moved one hundredth of an inch so you can get the exact positioning of an object on a page by selecting positioning and finally we have rotation which is a fun one uh, we can rotate the object around we can make it spin around here uh, this is an animation but uh, there is a way you could steal this animation and make it work in keynote and i'll cover that in an advanced topic but um, if we wanted this to say tilt to the side here we can see that the reflection is also kind of picked up on the rotation it's got just the corner of that D there. And we can change the angle to uh, fractions of a degree. And again, we can flip this. If we wanted a mirror effect, we could flip the image around. Sometimes this is useful. I do this when I'm using a picture of a person, maybe looking a certain direction, but I want them looking at the text. I could flip that image, and it makes it look like I took the picture the other way. And again, flipping vertically, we could do the same thing. Have an image look upside down, or if your image is upside down, you could flip it within the inspector, the metrics inspector, and make it look like the picture was taken right side up. So that's metrics. Come on back, and we're going to start to talk about tables.